Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. You said that you don't believe in marriage, right? Do you know you know you're an Israelite? Well, I know now. You know now, right? So we know what's the requirements of Israelite? For all the laws, right? Now, is it a law for us to get married? I'm not sure. Let's go to Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. We got to find out because a lot of people believe that um, it's not it's not a law for us to get married. But many of the issues in our communities is based upon single parent households. Many many people in our in our um, communities only have a mother in the house, right? Is that a problem? That is a problem. Why is it a problem? Just back here. Exactly. God created a family. Exactly. It's not supposed to be um, one or the other because what happens when you have uh, no, no tie between you two as far as legal documentation to show that you're married, whatever it is. The brother, the man or the woman can just step up and leave whenever they want. That's why a lot of people don't want to get married because if I get, if I sign these papers, I can't just get up and leave. But if I'm saying I'm your boyfriend, I'm your girlfriend, then I can just leave whenever I want to leave. That shows that you don't have that care for the other person, vice versa, right? Right. So let's read this real quick. Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. Bring it out. And if a man entice a maid. So if a man spit game to a woman, get her right. Go ahead. That is not be betrothed and lie with her. So if a man lie with a woman, right, which is what happens when you have babies, right? Go ahead. He shall surely. It says he shall surely. What is that? Does that mean maybe? It means definitely. Definitely. How old are you? 21. Definitely. Go ahead. He shall surely. So God is saying surely. Let's read from the top. Just so, just so we know you're sure. All right, go ahead. Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. <laughs> and if a man entice a maid. This is what happened, right? Between y'all. This is what happened so far, right? That is not betrothed. Uh -huh. And lie with her. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. Girlfriend. Be his wife. Baby daddy. To be his wife. Be wife. That's what the Bible talks about. Go to Hebrews 13 and 4. The Bible talks about marriage. It doesn't talk about boyfriend and girlfriend. A lot of us are taught that things don't. these things don't matter. Because many of us have the example of a single parent household. Right. And we thought it worked. Did it work? You had, was you, uh, did you have both parents? You had both parents? Did it work out? It didn't work out. We have so many examples that show it does not work out. But we want to go ahead and do the same thing because that's what we're taught. Right. But we're out here to teach our people there's a better way, the right way. Because single-parent household is not going to work for our people. That's go right. Ahead. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. So it says marriage is honorable in all. Does it say girlfriend and boyfriend? It doesn't say that at all. Go ahead. And the bed undefiled. So whatever you do in the bedroom is between y'all. It's undefiled. But if you're... If you're um, Sleeping with somebody and they're not your husband or wife is to file. Go ahead. But whoremongers. What is a whoremonger? Whore yes, yeah, a whoremonger. Anybody know what a whoremonger is? A whore a male that sleeps around, right? Basically, a, a promiscuous male. Okay. A promiscuous male, but the Bible calls that uh, a cause it a whore for a woman. Or so a, a whoremonger, or harley, right? Or a whoremonger is a promiscuous male. But also, it's it's showing you that it's an unmarried. Man, a man who's not married, he's sleeping around with someone else who is not their wife. Go ahead. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So God says he will judge those who are whoremongers or adulterers. So that means that if you're not married, what you what you got going on here is is a whoremonger. It's a sin. Now, what is what happens when we sin as a nation? 
We all fall. That's what that's what's happening with our community right now. We see all this stuff, this destruction going on, all this trash everywhere, all this our people in a decayed state because this one thing right here is single parent households is one reason. So that's one big reason. But once again, you said that you don't believe in it. But now, do you see where we coming from? Where God is coming from? Go ahead. Let's uh, go back to um, Exodus 22, 16. Because God wants certain things from us as a nation of people. Go ahead. Exodus chapter 22, verse 16. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. So now we see that this has to happen. You're 21. I got married when I was 20. It's no big deal. It's better. It's, that's what God wants us to do. For us to raise up as a nation, when you see, when you have nations, they go from, uh, nations are built upon a house, right? That's how nations are built. If you look at the, the white man or the Arab man, there's always two. There's always a husband and a wife. You cannot build with a weak foundation. You cannot do it. So we need a foundation as, as, a, as, a, as our nation. We need a foundation. So we need a husband, we need a wife. But they have to know also their role. But let's go to um, let's go to Isaiah three and twelve. Let's see the issue if we don't have uh, if we have single parent households because the Bible speaks about single parent homes or what happens when a woman is trying to raise a man or a woman by herself. Can a woman teach a man how to be, a little boy how to be a man? She can't. Can a woman teach a, a little boy how to be a man? So what happens if I t if I if, if a woman if you try to teach a a little boy how to be a man by yourself with, without him in the equation what is going to happen? What type of type of characteristics do you have? Feminine, feminine. The Bible doesn't want effeminate men. The Bible says that effeminate men will not make the kingdom. That's a sin to be effeminate. So that means that that can't happen. But let's see what the Bible says about it. This is the Book of Isaiah, chapter three, verse twelve. And for my people. Children are their oppressors. So God says his people are, his children are the oppressors of our people. Why does it say children are the oppressors of our people? Our children, what are the children of today doing? Learning this, right? This is what happens when our children are, are raised by them. That's what happens. When our people don't know how to be, when they're not raised properly, what happens to the feminine men and women, right? So what happens also is that they, they get more emotional, they're angry. Because a lot of times our people say, because uh, they join gangs, they join gangs, they like to kill, they like to, right. But the thing is, they think that being tough is, is, a, is a good thing, being angry, being hot-headed is a good thing. But God says that's emotional. That's an emotional trait that's, that you get from over here. That's why there has to be a man in it. Right? As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. See that? So when a when a woman is ruling over our children, what happens is that we become our, our children become oppressed. All the gangbang we got, all the crackheads, all the people that grow up. That we see today, all the kids and all the uh, the, the youth, they, they grow up the way they do because it's single parent household. That's right. So the mindset of marriage is not needed. It's very much needed. Right. It's very much needed. So let's go ahead. Let's get. Let's go to um, Sirach chapter forty three verse seven about the papers. It's forty two and seven. So what? There's more steps to it. There's more steps to marriage just than saying we got to get married. Because you being an Israelite, you got to keep the commandments, right? Being married is one of the commandments. You gotta do it. You do it as soon as you can get it done. That's right. You don't gotta have no grand wedding. That's the customs of this world. Right. Right. We can. When I got married, what I do? I just went up to the courthouse with my wife, got the papers, just me and her there, somebody else in the back. That was it. We had That's a witness. Right. That was it. That's right. We got married. Now we're right in the eyes of God. That's right. That's the point. Is to be right in the eyes of God. Because many times our people think that because my friends aren't getting married, they think it's not cool. They think I, they can go sleep around with all these people. That's what's cool. Don't be. Don't be. Um, by what they're doing you're, you're supposed to set that example because you got this this daughter here That's she right. has to have a good example if right. she grows up and see dad's not really living there he's not he's not really there what type of example is she gonna set, take on she's not she's gonna do the same thing you're doing she's gonna do the same thing you're doing go ahead Sirach, chapter 42 verse 7 bring it up deliver all things in number and weight and put all in writing so put all in writing, meaning that we have to put everything in writing, meaning 
uh, we have to get marriage certificate. No such thing as writing down that we're married. If no, a lot, of, a lot of people say that's my wife, that's my husband, but there's no papers. We have to have papers to show that we are married. So once again, that's something that we have to do. But now, what is the role of a husband and a wife? What's the what's the role of a woman? To lead the home. Yes. Take care of the home. Get a mom. What about you? You said your your father was he was he around? What did he teach you? How to go to work. Oh, how to go to work. Go to uh, second second Thessalonians. No, I'm gonna deal with I'm gonna deal with I'm gonna deal with your responsibility first. I'm gonna deal with your responsibility. Then I'm gonna deal with yours because a lot of times we're taught that um, that, that there's 50-50. Is that what is that's what that's what's taught, right? 50-50 relationship. What do you think it is? Hey, how you doing, bro? Come on over here. Come on over here. I'm trying to be a warrior, bro. How can on, I what's get your name? What's your name? My name Chris. Chris. Yeah, I'm gonna Aaron, Aaron. Name back. Want me back? Hey, I'll praise. I'll praise. Right now we deal with marriage, all right? Okay. Yep, you yep. about to stay? Yep. You about to stick around? Yeah, I'm gonna stick around. You about to stick around? Look, you about to go? I got a family daughter, but I gotta like. Hey man, it's the Sabbath. You're not supposed to be buying today. Right. Oh, it's the Sabbath. It's the yeah, Sabbath. Right. You know what the Sabbath is? Nope. You might as well not even go on over. You might as well stay right here. That's right. All right. You uh, say you want to get your women back, right? Yeah. We about to deal with that right now. Bring it up. So now you said that you said that um, it's impossible for it to be 50-50. Why do you say that? Because I feel like as a woman, I don't have as much as I to do That's right. Like, a man has to be, he got to take care of me and my baby. So he got to be protected. Can you say that in the mic? Because that's, that sounds real good. Bring it out! Bring it out! That's right. That's right. Okay. Now the sister brought out good. This this much of what she said is not taught in our neighborhood. It's not right. taught to our young women. Right. Many of our women think that I can do it by myself. I don't need a man. You better talk, bro. They say, you say better that talk. No black, you better no talk. Black man. You better talk, my brother. Yeah, because that's what we're taught. Say that. Smart, that's a smart sister. Don't. You need to marry this sister. She is a smart sister. That's right. I, we don't want. We don't run out of why is this white man on this picture? Right, this is not, not, so we, this is not we don't dead. run. Uh, we don't run around too many um, young sisters like this who are smart enough to realize there's an order in the house. That's right. They say they want to run the house or they want it 50-50. Really right. what happens is okay. not 50-50. It's her on her part and zero on his. Because she, she wearing the pants. That's what ends up happening. Well, let's, no, uh, let's, the let's, man runs the going? house. Okay. That's right. That's right. The, the, king, the man the runs king, the house. The king runs the house. Exactly. The, 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 our people, they don't realize their stature. They don't realize it. They're not I taught realize their stature. Okay. Let's get that. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 2. 3 and 2. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10. Bring, Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. So that is the one of the roles of a, husband, of a of a man is he has to work. That's right. A lot of our people do not want to work. A lot when of the our, man our goes out into the field, the woman's supposed to have his food ready when he it's, comes it's in. Exactly, out that we're field. supposed to That's work. Right. But you have to be a man uh, worthy of that. You got to go out and get the you got to go get the money. That's our job. But many of our people they want to mooch off the government. We want to do all these different things to avoid working. But as a man, you have to work. That's you right. Your, for your daughter, for the your most future wife. That you got to live That's off the you land. have to do. To off we have land. to work. Let's go to First uh, Timothy five and eight. You know, yeah. you see what happens if you do not work. As a nation of people, we have to take care of each other. That's right. Not just to take care of her, but the rest of your nation. What happens right. when you when you have brothers and sisters that need help? You need to be able to provide. Go ahead. First Timothy. Exactly. Chapter 5, verse 8. Bring it out. But if any provide not for his own, for his own meaning his nation, go ahead. And especially for those of his own house, he has been. So he says, especially for those of his own house. At the bare minimum, you got to take care of your house. Right. How many brothers are not taking care of their kids right now? Right. Too many. Right. Majority of our, of our men are not taking care of their kids. That's right. right. Think about it. They don't know how. No, they, a lot of our brothers make excuses. 
they make excuses why they, it don't matter if you don't know all the uh, ups and downs of raising a family. You better try. That's right. That's right. You make that's a right. kid, you better take care of it. That's, right. Right. that's what we have to do as a nation, but we make excuses on why we can't do it. Right. Or oh, I don't like her, or she don't like me, or there's nothing there. It doesn't matter, you need to take care of your kids. That's, that's right. right. A lot of us, we don't even want to work. We want to sell our butt. We want to sell drugs to take care of a kid. Right. That's not how it works. Go ahead. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 8. But if any provide not for his own, especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith, and it's worse than an infidel. So it wasn't, you know what an infidel is? An infidel is a non-believer. Right. So if you don't work, you would deny the faith, and you're worse than a non-believer. Somebody, right. an atheist who doesn't believe in God, you're worse than that if you don't take care of your household. Right. So as a man, that is the role. Now let's go to 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. So there's, a, there's a big role in, in being a, um, a husband, being a, just a man in general. As being an Israelite, there's a big role to it. Got it? Got to set the example for you, for, for them. Go ahead. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse number 3. Bring it up! But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is is the man so who is the head of the woman sounds cute that sounds cute i am a little bit that ain't sound keep confident let me from the top but i will have you know that the head of every man is christ who's the head of the man christ christ is the head of the man that's right and the head of the woman is the man what's that sis who's the head of the man the head of the man so is Christ. Christ. The reason that's important is the head of the man is Christ because a lot of times our sisters think that they're the head of the man. We got to understand that the order that God, God set up for order, he's all about order. That's right. And the order he set up was to be God, Christ, man. That's Not right. man and woman on the same playing field. It's God, Christ, man. Right. Go ahead. right. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ and the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is who? The man. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.